Hey guys, let's take a look at this new amazing portable light that you can take anywhere and it's extremely powerful. Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Zion Molus X100 Lite. This thing is tiny, 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 and we're gonna talk about exactly how I used it commercially over the last month. It has been used on multiple professional shoots, and it really has changed the way that I work when it comes to video. So, the first thing I wanna talk about before I open up this case is, it has this little piece where you're supposed to be able to put all the pieces. I got the, ex the extra accessory pack, which I highly suggest you do. Don't just buy the light. Go on and spend, I think it's an extra 100 bucks, and you get a few other accessories that are really nice. Um, but unfortunately, with the extra accessories, they don't all fit in here with this. So I took this out of the bag. So let's take a look at what's inside this bag. Now, I've added a few accessories for myself, um, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So let's just talk about everything you get with the extra accessory kit. Um, you get the light itself. You get this awesome battery, which also can double up as a battery bank, just to let you know. Um, I've added this, I added this little piece right here. Uh, mainly this allows me to put it on top of light stands and other things. Um, and so I will, uh, I'll put it on, I'll put this connect these two together. So this is an added accessory, but you do need something. Um, if you're gonna be putting the light directly onto, onto something, um, these uh, does have the 1 8 inch only on the bottom. I wish they had it on a few other spots, a few more anchor points. But again, we'll talk about some of the cons about the light, uh, but the pros definitely outweigh that. Um, so you get a mainly a Bowens mount um, system here. Um, you, get the little re, you get the little hood piece there. And uh, you get their little soft box modification with uh, a grid. And then you get the power cable, which we'll talk about that as well. Over the last month, I have used this light on multiple jobs. One of the nice things about the light is that it is extremely portable and it is very functional. So as you guys saw, it has its own little soft box system here. But with the Bowens mount adapter that comes with it, you get this night, you can add stuff like this 34 inch soft box. So one of the shoots that we did is I wanted to do some stock photography. So I reached out to a local ice cream shop and I asked, could I come in and take pictures of some of your ice cream? I'll give you the pictures and then I can put them up on my stock photography website. So they said, come on in. And so one of my challenges for this shoot was to actually only use pretty much this light as at least this as my main key light. And I had a secondary light off to the side to do a little backlighting, rim lighting on the ice cream. Um, but this was my key light and I used a 34 inch softbox Bowens um, and it worked fantastically. Now, one thing to mention, and I'm, I'm guessing everyone should know this, but if you don't, when using a modifier that comes with a grid system like this, this grid helps control the light a lot, but also it cuts down multiple stops of your light. So if you pull the grid off of one of your soft boxes, especially with something that only puts out 100 watts, which is still amazing for something this small, um, you're gonna get quite a bit more light. Other jobs that we did is we shot we did some uh, Instagram reels for a, for a local coffee shop and it worked great. Again, for a key light, a main light, we mostly only use the Bowens mount. I used this, their soft box a couple times. The problem with this is, is that it does not allow for as much light spread. So with a larger modifier, larger soft box, I get a lot more spread and a lot more control. As well, I have multiple types of modifiers, you know? Um, so I have a, the, the beauty dish, um, I have a parabolic. I have all these different types of modifiers for different types of shoots. Um, one thing that I did run into with this is that you're only getting about 30 minutes at 100%. The biggest factor for me as a professional videographer is the portability of this. So I do a monthly shoot for a local law office and being able to walk in with that case and set up, number one, it cuts down on my footprint. Number two, I can set up in minutes much faster than if I have to bring in a light. Number three, I don't necessarily always have to have wall power. Granted, at 100%, you're getting 30 minutes, um, but it will connect to some ex different types of external powers. Um, so if you have a battery bank or something that can put up to 60 watts out, it will let you get 60 
percent of the power. Um, we're going to talk about some of the cons and pros of that here in a minute. But I absolutely just loved how easy it was to walk in and use this one light and set up really quick. It's definitely going to replace my 300 watt Godox for a lot of my shoots. Now, one thing I did not get to test it on that I absolutely wanted to, I just did not have a wedding this month, um, is actually taking it out because a lot of the times when they're doing that mother-son dance, father-daughter dance, you need that extra light to really get a nice shot. And it would be nice to be able to set this on a light stand and get full power 100% right onto the dance floor or other parts of a wedding that you might want a little extra light in. And so this I'm really looking forward to. So let's talk about the cons that I have with this system, which aren't a lot, but there's a few of them. One of them being that this, this system right here um, is just clunky. It's like an old laptop battery bank, you know, um, an old laptop charger. And so I just feel like, I mean, there's so much, this is literally the size of the light itself, which really hurts with the footprint. So there are a couple options that you can do to kind of cut down on that footprint and kind of get around this system if you're gonna be plugging it in and you're gonna need more than that 30 minutes at 100%. So I have a couple different USB-C power banks here, or not banks, but uh, I guess chargers, wall chargers, power chargers. And uh, the, the, the newest Apple ones will not work, but this is like two generations old. It's like 2018, I think, and it's a 87 watt. Um, so what you can do, and this is, I believe, a 60 watt. So what I can do is I can plug that in. Now I may need to get um, a longer USB-C cable, but it's really nice because I can plug this directly and like I said, you can plug a battery bank directly into it, but it depends on what the battery bank's output is. So like I plugged one in earlier and my output was like 20 watts so that I could only get 20% power on this. So what I can do is I can turn this on. And just to mention, I, I, you guys, I'm guessing everyone already knows, it is by color. Um, so you are able to uh, get a different Calvin temperature. Um, anything from, I think, uh, it is 22 to 64, uh, 27 to 64. Let's just pop it up. 20, 27 to 65 K. Um, so the nice thing is because this puts out 60 Watts, I can get up to 60%. So I can go a 60% on this. However, let's turn it off. I have this, which is a little bit bigger and it's an 87 Watt and I'll be able to get 80, percent out of it. So 80% of the 20% and I've already knocked down so much of my footprint. So again, I can turn it on and we can go to 80. Uh, of course, it will not go any higher than 80. Um, you can also double tap just to let you know and it will it will increase. So all right, single tap, my bad. It will go 40, 80 and then it would go to 100%. Um, so I can tap down to 0%. Again, tap again at that 40%. So, um, so this has really helped with cutting down on my footprint here. We'll talk a little bit about this uh, head that I've added to it. Um, so I found that it is easier to connect the light here and anchor it here and then set this on a light stand or something that this would connect to um, that has a screw for it. Uh, but I did find one thing that I find really annoying. Uh, and I, and you have a little bit of a lip here. Um, so you got a little bit of a lip here. And so trying to get your tripod piece, your mounting piece, you have to really press in hard to really, to really lock it in. Um, so if you don't put enough pressure, um, it, you're just going to sit there and you're going to be spinning and spinning and it's not going to connect. And I found that to be annoying. Um, and there's only, those are the only anchor points, or the two at the bottom. So you don't have any other anchor points. So if you wanted to anchor this differently, you wouldn't be able to. Um, so you'd have to kind of come up with something. You could use a clamp system or something to come up with it. Um, this is really nice. This just pops in. I found this to be really easy as far as just connecting the battery. One of the other things that I'm kind of nitpicking about, but when you set this on like a light stand and it's set up, um, you can plug this directly in, but sometimes due to the weight, if you don't wrap this around something so it catches on something, um, it will just pull the, um, it will pull it right out and you'll just lose power instantly if you don't have this battery charged. So that was the other like major console. So far as things are concerned, 
Um, it is, I believe, $300 for the base, just light, and around $400 with the accessory kit. I would just go on and get the accessory kit. Extra batteries are about 120 right now, which I would like to have about three or four of them. And I'd like to probably have three or four of these. But over the next year, I'm probably gonna be transitioning into something like this, this very specific system, because with three or four of these, this allows me to go on just about any set, anywhere, away from AC power and be able to have complete control of light and allow me to get beautiful professional shots for my clients. And so it's just gonna elevate my business. I'm actually loving this light and look forward to using it on my future shoots as it's going to help me out so much. So guys, as always, we'll catch you next time. Let's go.